All right, let's do an example with the force on a wire. We've got a five meter long straight wire, so L equals five meters, which runs at a 45 degree angle, theta equals 45 degrees, to a uniform magnetic field of five tesla. B equals five tesla. If the force on the wire is one newton, F is one newton, find the current I in the wire. All right. The force on the wire, FB, is equal to ILB sine theta. We're looking for current, therefore current is going to be the force over LB sine theta, which is going to be one newton over, we've got five meters, our five tesla field, and the sine of 45 degrees, which is going to be square root of 2 over 2. Therefore, our current is about 0.0566 amps, or 56.6 milliamps. One more problem. Determine the direction of the force on the two current carrying wires shown below. Well, this comes straight from our previous slide where we were talking about what the force is between two current carrying wires, parallel wires, whether they're in, if the current's in the same direction or opposite directions. And you can figure this out by working through the right-hand rules or remembering that in opposite directions, you have a repulsive force between them. All right, hopefully that gets you a good start on magnetism as it relates to current carrying wires. Thanks so much for your time and for visiting us at educator.com. Make it a great day, everyone.